guys, you're welcome to my channel. It's your favorite laboratory scientist, Machi. And on this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to cross match patients and donors sample. So over here, we have this is the donor's blood sample, and I have dispensed through here an aliquot on this container inside this container. And over here, we have the recipient plasma. So the first thing we do is to label our test tube. I have test tube 1, that's the first step, and test tube 2, this is the second step. The first stage is to wash our donor's red blood cells. We're going to be washing it for three times using our normal saline, 0.85% normal saline. So this is what we're going to do. Pipette, normal pipette and water, clean water. This is the donor's red blood cell. Mix it properly for five times and uh, gently open. We'll pick two drops of this blood cell. One, two, that's all. drops and then cover this and then we'll cover this the last thing is to add a normal saline and this is it we're going to put this into our centrifuge and set it at 3500 rpm for three minutes we'll wash it three times after three minutes, this is how it looks. The packed red blood cells are found underneath, while this is the normal saline. So we'll dispense, not completely, we'll dispense a little and then we'll mix it. Afterwards, we'll top up with normal saline. Like this. We'll place this into the centrifuge and we'll centrifuge it for 3 minutes at 3500 rpm. After 3 minutes, dispense and we'll top up again with our normal saline. We'll continue this process for 3 times. This is what we have gotten after we have spinned it. We tapped the mixture of the normal saline and the red blood cell. The next stage, after we have washed our, norm, our donor's red blood cell, is to add equal volume of the washed red blood cell. We're using two drops. Rinse this. If you have new pipette, it's advisable to use new pipette while doing this and afterwards we also add two drops of the recipient's plasma remember a pore volume of the donor's wash red blood cell and a pore volume of the recipient's plasma so we'll be adding two drops cover this This is what we have here. And afterwards, we mix it properly. We're going to place this into the centrifuge at 3500 RPM for three minutes. Afterwards, place a drop on the slide. Afterwards, we cover this slide. The cover slip. Remember on the slide we have our washed red blood cells. We washed it for three times using our 0.85% normal saline for three minutes at 3500 RPM for three minutes. And after that, we mixed, we added two drops of it into two drops of the recipient plasma. Afterwards, we centrifuged at 3500 RPM for 3 minutes. 
This is the final product. We cover, place a drop of it on the slide. We cover with our cover slip and we're going to view this. It's actually the easiest part. Now when we are viewing, we're going to use times 10 and times 40. Ensure that we completely covered the Irish condenser and we use focus with our times 10. We use our, our up and down knob, focus on our light and view. We check out if there is presence of agglutination. If there is agglutination, then that blood is not compatible. But if there is no agglutination, then feel free to give out the blood. Don't forget to follow the standard operating procedure of cross matching blood. We have both the major and we have the minor. Don't forget to follow it. I hope you've learned something from our video. See you next time. Bye.